The Battle of Beldwain occurred on December 24 to December 25, 2006 when Ethiopian troops seized that Somalian town from Islamic Courts Union fighters, according to some news agencies. Beldwain is 100 kilometers north of Badawa, the seat of transitional federal government of Somalia. Prelude to the battle, even before the 2006 events in the Somali Civil War, Beldwain had seen its share of fighting. In June 2005, fighting between the Galjil and Jiyela subclans Gug and Daba in the western of town lasted for five days resulting in 16 dead Galjil 13 dead and Jilela 3 dead, 70 wounded both clans and hundreds more displaced. This left the town on an uneasy footing. On June 30, 2006, the ICU held demonstrations in Beldwain in which protesters held signs reading, We don't want Ethiopia to enter Somalia. On August 1, 2006, the ICU sent technicals out towards the Ethiopian border north of Beldwain. Ethiopian troops were reportedly sent across the border to stop the ICU's advance. Between August 9 and August 16, ICU militia under the command of Yusuf Makaran occupied the town. After resisting for a few days, by August 13, the deposed governor, Yusuf Ahmed Hager, fled to Ethiopia to regroup his forces. By August 16, the ICU declared control of the town after a final brief exchange of gunfire. In late August 2006, Sheikh Farah Molam established an Islamic court in the town. In an interview with the Associated Press he declared, The world better learn who we are. This is just the beginning stage. In September the ICU arrested journalist Osman Aden Aries of Radio Simba for two days for airing a report about the strict new rules and a curfew imposed on the town. On October 13, Sheikh Abdullah Igara, spokesman for the ICU, declared Ethiopian troops had crossed the border and were within 25 kilometers of Beldwain. Somalia was devastated by massive floods that hit the country late in 2006. The storms of November 10-11 resulted in the displacement of 60,000 persons in the Beldwain area. On Sunday, November 26, 200 women protested they had not been getting enough help to deal with the humanitarian crisis. On December 8, protests here held in Beldwain to oppose the new UN resolutions for an IGAD-led peacekeeping mission, dubbed IGASOM. Course of the battle, residents said that Ethiopian troops took control of Baladwain town on December 25 after a day of bombing to uproot the Islamists. Yusuf Dabajid, the returning Somali governor of Hirin, said, We have taken control of Baladwain and our forces are chasing the terrorists. We have killed more than 60 Islamists, wounded others and captured some as prisoners of war. Following their defeat in Baladwain, leaders of the Islamic courts called on the Ethiopian troops to withdraw. The ICU allegedly retreated also from the town of Bulobada. Unconfirmed reports that hundreds of Ethiopian tanks were moving along the road towards Jofa. This presented a major flanking of ICU positions in Tayoglo and Boerikaba by striking towards the Shaber el Ahadex area. The Ethiopian forces were accompanied by Somali warlord Mohamed Omar Habib Mohamed Dera, who wished to re-establish his control over Jofa. Aftermath after the battle, Yusuf Dabaged proclaimed the town of Badelwain was liberated and it was again legal to chew cat. A truck filled with cat arriving the next day, on December 26, was met with a burst of cheers. On December 31, 2006, in an effort to head off additional bloodshed, Yusuf Ahmed Hager, Dabajid, returning governor of Hirin called for an end to three days of reprisals conducted by men loyal to him and the TFG. He urged an end to the hunting for former members of the Islamist militias offered assurances that those who were now mingled with the rest of the population would not be hurt or killed. On January 1, 2007, Somali President Abdullahi Yusuf Ahmed declared a new administrator for Hiran region, replacing Dabajid.
Hussein Muhammad Molam was named as new administrator, and Thaliman Ahmed Halala was nominated as assistant administrator. On January 5, 2007, Sheikh Farah Moalam Muhammad became the highest-ranking member of the Islamic Courts Union to be captured by the Ethiopian Somalian forces. He was apprehended near Belvoir and later released because of the general amnesty offered to Islamists who surrendered to the government. Clashes broke out between Somali protesters and Ethiopian soldiers after a TFG military officer, Karl Mukta Hussein Afra, was arrested for refusing to hand over the sheikh to Ethiopian forces. Three people were reportedly injured. He was released on January 10, 